Yeah. We want to get right into this. Louis C.K. did some radio up there in Cleveland. What, you called into a radio show? I called into Cleveland. I was doing like a few in a row, and then this one was... I actually thought it was Buffalo, and I say Buffalo. Oh, good. Oh, because <laughs> to you, you don't you know you don't know and you don't. No, care. I have no idea. And the thing is, they didn't even call me on it. They said nothing about me saying Buffalo. I realized. Really? At the end. They said anyway. Good to see. We'll be glad to see you in Cleveland. I was like, oh, well, this is Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. Yeah. I well, thought this was. Buffalo. I, well, Oops. Well, you called the Maxwell Show. We've had problems with this mm. show in the past. Not real problems because it, we slap them around and then we throw them back into obscurity. Right. So they kind of get excited every once in a while when we bring up their names. But yeah. relax. Yeah. You're back to obscurity by uh, Monday. Yeah. Uh, this show, like, I, the last time we talked about him, they claimed that this, like, pothead that's on the show is funnier than Jim Norton. Mm. So, like, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're talking to a hell of a lot more people than this dumb radio show, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we put out the challenge. We're like, look, uh, send us five minutes of you being funny. Yeah. And then we'll let our listeners decide how funny you really are. And, and then, of course, he had some weird reason why he couldn't do it and stuff. Sure. You know, sure. I guess he didn't want to... He, he didn't want his great talent to be exposed to like a <laughs> right. a, a giant audience, you know. No, no. I, I basically, Private. we called them out for the phonies they are. Is what mm -hmm. it comes down to. And then he has problems with Louis, who's a great comic. It's it's amazing to me. It's almost like what he the, the greatest crime this guy commits is that he's not a funny guy. Um, like I I don't care if you want to you want to crap talk us or we'll crap mm -hmm. talk you. But he, the curse of him is that he's just not a funny dude, and he tries to be a moralistic mm -hmm. guy about what humor is appropriate. <laughs> he's just what he is. He's a big fat slob who has like a, a one place that he feels comfortable mm -hmm. and in charge. And you, uh, a brilliantly funny dude, calls up. You have no idea who he is. You don't even know what city he's in. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? You don't know the city he was in. Right. And that showed him this is who I am. Yeah. Right. This is a guy who's at his own show. Uh, HBO specials, he has no idea who I am or where I am. Yeah, and besides not being funny, you know, they try to make believe there's, there's some kind of edgy show, but they're using fake radio voices. They're like, ha, 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 a lot because they're uncomfortable to be in front of a live microphone. He's the fake and, name, Maxwell. Like, well, that's a cool guy, like hardcore. Hey, I'm Maxwell. Uh, are you? Maxwell what? I use Stop. A, yeah, what's your last can name? Can I call you Max? I use a fake name. No, you don't, but yours is not a radio name. Yours is a name from childhood. Ugh. Yours is a nickname. But that's stuck different, with. Though. I hate this name. Nah, you know, I everyone, hate it, I do. Everyone knows your name. I got it when I was 12. Oh, <laughs> sweetie, don't be honest. I'm now pushing 30. I hate this. Pushing 30. That's right, plus you're 12. 80 year old OB. That's going to be something. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Lou. Yeah, that's where you're headed. It's okay. Yeah. So, right. let's get right to the audio. Louie couldn't wait to, you know, send this in to us. And, uh, yeah. Maxwell looks like a complete dope. And he's, of course, the guy that invented this brilliant thing. And punt. See, he'll, he'll right, make fun right. of you. And and then he'll and punt what, because he's done. Because yeah. he's done, you know. Because the defense right. did oh. their job, and now you got a punt. Oh. That's, ah. the, that's, yeah. that's his like hardcore way of going. End of story. Almost yeah. like the, the eviscerating <laughs> is done. Yeah. And well, punt. when I went on, as soon as I ca they came on, like I'm just waiting. You know, somebody comes on. You're going to be on the air in a minute, and I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's I they I hear them come back from the air, and he's like, yeah, we got like one of those guys who just there's yeah. a lot of silence, and then he's like. All right, we're back here. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I was talking like that, and I was like, this is odd. The first to... thing I say to the guy is, you guys are weird, just because it's <laughs> such a strange... He's trying to be too cool for the room. Yeah. And he, do yep. he doesn't talk in his natural voice. No. Uh, he we talks don't... in a radio guy yes. voice. We don't respect any yeah. radio show that has to like do the fake radio no. voice. No. Uh, Bob Kelly here, too. I I'm sure you have some experience uh, uh, talking to radio shows across America, so pipe in when you can, all right? Yeah. Uh, here's Louis <laughs> <laughs> Uh Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to move it along because we're running yeah. out of show here. Yeah. Louis C.K. on the phone with this Maxwell show up there in Cleveland. It's kind or of else yeah. Or else, or else you're, you would close the door, get privacy, and meanwhile they go jump out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Oh, <laughs> now see that right there. That's what I'm saying. Now see, stands where he thinks that. I think that's a terrible joke. Yeah, it really. happened for a minute. There you go. Man. I don't <laughs> care. I really don't care. You know what I mean? God gave that guy one really good talent. He can play the guitar. He wrote a great song about it. Made a million dollars. I don't care. <laughs> I don't dollars. care about any of it. <laughs> I don't care about any of it. He's trying to say how it's a terrible joke as he's laughing. The he's laughing time. at the joke. Uh, yeah, the thing yeah, also yeah. to keep in mind is that the setup to this, this is not, I don't do a joke about Eric Clapton. This guy uh, said that I shouldn't make fun of my kids on stage. And I said, why? And he said, well, I have a baby, so... And I just Shut went after up, him. you I, jerk. I just went after him and I said, oh, nice. that's really sweet. You got a little baby. Do you have any idea what you're headed for? And I just started talking about being a parent. And uh -huh. this bit is about how you can't crap in private when you have kids. If you're watching your kids by yourself, 
and it's time to crap, you have to gather them in the bathroom to watch you. Because otherwise, <laughs> if you do it with your door closed, somehow. you're in the bathroom with the door closed. Meanwhile, they're walking off uh, out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Yeah, I call him <laughs> stupid. I don't care. He's but, dead. But that's the point but so, of the bit. <laughs> so that's the point of the bit is how how much you, pressure you live with as a father. He laughed at it. Of course he kept me on the air for another five to ten minutes, by the way. But for the bottom line is just the fact that he has a baby he thinks makes him that makes it like important to him to be offended issue. yeah and what he he's just a phony yeah but he takes jerkle. part in the joke he actually makes a joke about how eric clapton made money he thinks he made one million dollars i think he yeah. made a little a more than a million that. dollars he's, <laughs> he's like dr more evil than that. one yeah, million exactly. dollars it's a lot of money to him but and then they laugh and he asked me for marital advice and i gave it to him and everyone laughed for another five to ten minutes after i said that and mm -hmm. then they hung up and the instant he hung up he turned on me. Yeah. Yes. yeah, well, that's what most of these radio Just guys do. Just weirdly phony. We've had horrific comments. I would have been happy to feel to the comments on sure. the Sure. Yeah, yeah. And well, actually, he says to me there, you shouldn't have made that joke. What if some, what if you're, I don't know if you're going to play that, but he said, the next thing he said, I said, he said, you're, what if your baby fell all, uh, out of a window? Would you laugh at it? I'm like, no, but I assume other people would. Yeah. Exactly. Louis makes complete sense yeah. in this situation. I mean, I wouldn't laugh at my own baby dying, but, but others uh, would. Folks and have at it. And I you don't understand that. You would not enjoy, enjoy the show. Nothing, nothing worse than some chuckling. pompous. Yeah, Bob, my friend Bob parents. will make fun of my dead oh, baby. We'd be I laughing. Do. But whatever. Yeah, exactly. The, the cur here, here's another telltale sign of an unfunny guy is to start dictating what subjects are appropriate. Right. It's like that is... He's the, got his list, yeah. That, like, you know yeah. how gamblers have a tell? Yeah. The tell of an unfunny person, besides the silence after jokes, yes. is when they try to <laughs> dictate morally what's appropriate. Yeah. Based on their morality yes. or, or what they find important, that 10-minute yeah. segment. There are some guys that you go in, you know, they tell you this guy isn't like this. He's, yeah. he's very... And you're like, okay, I get it. Uh, you yeah. know, I'll do my stuff, but I get how he is. But when you go into the, these places where they're supposed to be edgy, they're supposed mm -hmm. to be hip and cool, and they kind of suck you in, yep. and then oh. you're kind of doing your thing, and they're with you, and then to trash you after is like... It's so just lame. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, a, that's a worse move. Yeah. Just We've had horrific confrontations with people that where it it's uncomfortable for everyone, right. but they at least it's a real moment. Totally. It's real. For the most part, we don't talk bad about you after yeah. you leave the studio. Mm -hmm. I'm sure somebody will come up with an instant. You know, a, a time maybe we did that, but in general, man, our our track record is pretty damn good. Yep. We've had fist fights on the air. We've mm -hmm. had all sorts of horrific things happen. I hate this guy. Yeah. Someone should and, hike his what, baby what and, and punch. And, 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 and <laughs> as soon as you start deciding what's funny, like because you have a kid, you're yeah. finished as an yeah. e yeah. as an edgy jock, which you're not. No. Yeah. You're just you're just faking well, that, it. What, what do you? What is funny. the next clip that? that oh, yeah. let's go right into it here. I don't know. I think it continues. Now, okay, let me ask you this: What if your kid jumps out the window? Are you going to laugh when a comedian makes a joke about your kid jumping out the no, window? No, of course not. But I assume other people will, because what do they care about my stupid kid? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Great I laugh. I laugh about my own kid jumping out a window, but it's it, that's my kid, not your kid. I hope you do laugh. Oh, okay. Right. 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 I like this approach. I like it. All right. You know, well, well, you know. I feel like there's healing happening here. Now... What a oh, phony voice. <laughs> right. So, yeah, yeah, right. So like yeah, bad gunt. He actually, uh, like, I like his approach. Like, no, I he's thought, totally on my side. Yeah, but that, yeah. that was, that's smarmy too, what he's saying. It's, it's like, I like his approach. Right. Like, if it was any, if, I like the angle he's taking. It's mm -hmm. not the typical angle. He's not mm -hmm. just being a, okay, you're, you're being a little smart. I approve. Mm -hmm. Here's what I like his approach is about. He tried to call you on something, but not harshly. Right. Uh, because basically he's one of those yeah, guys. He's still being friendly. He's, of course he is. Mm -hmm. he, it actually felt to me like he's setting me up. Like he's enjoying this. Yeah. And he's playing the other guy. <laughs> right, so, right. Hey, should you have said that? And I go, okay, here, I'll knock that b out of the park. Uh -huh. he, Let's but, enjoy that. But he really was being a douche. <laughs> and he's not funny. He's no, not he's a not, funny no. dude. So what happens was you, he, said, he said something and you had a very funny, mm. honest answer. And then being an unfunny radio hack, he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Because he couldn't combat <laughs> because it. Because he didn't, yeah, exactly. He couldn't combat it. Exactly. That's what you are. So, wait a minute, play, play what happens next. I don't know, I don't know how you got these lined up, but. Uh, no, I think we got it pretty organized because it gets better and better because as soon as yeah. Louis hangs up, then you get this, this quote, real delicious. Maxwell. Watch yeah. out. Uh oh. Had oh. the chance to really go at it with totally, you while you were totally. still on the phone. Would have been happy. Yep. Well, hey, Louis, thank you so much, man. We thank appreciate you so you're much. You're going to be uh, here in uh, Cleveland February 15th. And then he plugs uh, you. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, well. And then he plugs me. you. Yeah. <laughs> You know how many times we said, you know what, go F yourself, F your show. Yes. 
you know, and, and, and just keep kicking you as you're trying to leave yes. the studio. Yes. This guy turns around and, and gives the, uh, the, the plug Gave like, me an like, infomercial. Like, like, like a good, <laughs> like a, a good little radio boy. <laughs> yes. Good you're a boy. little radio boy. Good boy, Maxwell. Good Give boy. The plug. Good, good boy. boy. Good Maxwell. boy. Oh, just don't want to get in trouble with the local comedy club that's sponsoring it, right? Good little boy. <laughs> good little boy. <laughs> Fat shill. Okay. Well, hey, Louie, thank you so much, man. We appreciate so it. You're going to be uh, here in uh, Cleveland February 15th. You can uh, still buy a ticket. Somebody told me this was Buffalo. This is Orange. <laughs> this is Cleveland? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cleveland. Oh, Good. I'm actually looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> and they laugh. Yeah. They laugh. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I but appreciate Cleveland it. is awesome. I can't wait for that show. That's going to be awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, thank you. Thank appreciate you. it. Now, remember, I, I appreciate a lot. Thanks, of thanks, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. Not, Great. Not, hey, Louie, you're not funny. Yeah. Not, we're not plugging your gig because you suck right. like an honest guy would have said. Plug it, give me money in my pocket uh, with your listeners going to my show. Yeah. Thank me. Tell me how much you appreciate it than this. And All right, get ready. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah. And this oh. is where we expose the little radio mm. boy. Now mm. Louie has hung up the phone. Coward. Mm. Had the chance to really go at it with mm. Louie, which, by the way, would be great radio. Would have been awesome for people his People aren't, aren't turning it off. No, of course not. They're gonna they're gonna listen to every single word. By the way, uh, no one brought this to our our attention. Mm -hmm. I think you had to tell Sam, which means no right. one out there that listens even heard it. Even or heard cared it. Or, yeah, it's <laughs> usually when one of you guys. No one's usually when you you one of you guys gets in a situation, somebody in your world immediately. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you hung up, and this is what happened. And this is where I pretty much hate every radio yeah. guy. They had a nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got to tell you, man, still the, the voice changes. Right? I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now it's time for my man cow impression. Yeah. Let I me tell you tell something. You. You know what it is, too? Because he knows he has to go home and look at his stupid wife, and she'll probably go, Why didn't you call him on the baby? <laughs> uh, I was looking at uh, in our baby's eyes when he was saying that awful stuff, and it's your so show, and you I, let him. I was so startled that I threw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, the voice changes no more. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, we'll see you. You can. And they, yeah. have, they have a black guy on the show called Cracker Man. You know, because white people uh, are crackers. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the swisheroo. That's, that's the old swisheroo. Sure yeah. is. If you look left, they go right. These guys are unpredictable. That's great. Ed Maxwell's a funny guy in charge. That's good. What's the white chick's name? <laughs> <laughs> and punt. And punt. And punt. So listen how the voice right. changes from uh, you know hua, 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 to uh, his big cow impression. Yes. They had a nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. 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 I got to tell you, man, still, though, at the end of the day, making fun of Eric Clapton's kid falling to his death is not funny. You laughed right? at it, ass. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Who's the I boy? Mean, the hole. Uh, Wait, they have a show? Just called the show? hole. Yeah, it's just called the hole. The showstopper. Who's, I agree. Yes, yeah, the, the breaks. Who's the broad? Ha <laughs> ha, you listen I to your agree. stupid PD. They said, <laughs> you need a woman to balance everything out, yeah. you dope. Ew. The big... The, the the woman on a radio show, which amounts to that big, greasy, sweaty hand on the <laughs> locomotive brake handle. Yeah! And sparks just fly out of the wheels. Yeah! Luggage vaulted towards the front of the car. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what Lady she with is. with nice hats go screaming. <laughs> oh! <laughs> So she added to this by saying, I agree. Of course that's, that's terrific. You're, you're getting paid way too much, honey. <laughs> You skirt. Yeah. But of course you agree, you yeah. silly, typical broad. Of course you do. Oh. Make some cookies and serve them to fatso with apnea. <laughs> <laughs> I have a baby. Do you? I got to no, tell you. I got to say. Now that it's safe in here, I got to yeah. really I tell you what's tell going you know. on. And who is it Eric Clapton? just a boy. Who's Eric Clapton Well, here's anyways. the thing. He gets, he gets <laughs> what's well, weird. I don't know if you have the turn on here where he... He says that because uh, he's kind of taking it from his own guy. Starts saying it wasn't that uh, wasn't that big a deal. Oh, good. Let's mm. hear. It. Let's hear. It. I yeah. think it's right here. I agree. Mm -hmm. Wait I mean, come on, Stansbury. At least give me that. I mean, That's not funny. Kids <clears throat> falling out of open windows and 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 splattering on the ground is like. Well, I mean, he didn't paint that whole picture for you. Well, I mean, but I mean, yeah. that's what happened. There. He fell out of a skyscraper, right, in New York City, right? Yeah, he walked out of the window. Yeah. I mean, dude, that's not funny, regardless of whose kid it is. 
Well, why did you laugh at? Why did you laugh? Why well, you he laugh? did it his, on your show. The guy you. with him on the show, actually, I really like this guy from listening to this stuff because the other guy actually totally puts up a fight and says, "Hey, I, I maybe I wouldn't laugh at it, but I don't begrudge somebody else laughing right. at it." And you're making way too big a deal out of it. Stansfield, the guy he works with, uh, is not as bad. Like he's a guy. The first time we went to fight with this guy, he's like, eh. he's just kind of siding with. He knows that the Maxwell he's working with. Is just his 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 guy. He yeah. has to side with him, right? So he's not as bad. Like he, I don't think. But by the end issues. of this craziness, and you'll see how bad it gets. He actually says he doesn't think he should be. Wor they like he almost they almost he almost fires him on the air. Oh, <laughs> he says the fact that you find this funny means that you're a turd, and I'm actually questioning working with you. Like he really? says that seriously. Oh, good. Well, here we go. Yeah. I don't necessarily think he would have to be in the situation. I think a kid falling to his death is not funny out of a window. Just like puddle of AIDS jokes aren't funny. I don't think I listen to what? me. Oh, that's, little shot that's Jimmy. Oh, hey, what is oh. that about? But listen to the rest of that because mm -hmm. there's something really absurd about it. Listen right for a second. Puddle of AIDS jokes aren't funny. I don't think I listen to Do me. Do you have to have AIDS to know that AIDS jokes aren't funny? No. Wait, that's keep watching. So what's the difference? Oh, you know, puddle of AIDS, funny. No, no, puddles of AIDS are not funny. All right, stop there. They're not. Puddles they, of AIDS don't exist. They don't exist. <laughs> puddles, of AIDS. puddles of AIDS are not funny. <laughs> When I'm walking to work and I see puddles of AIDS, that's not funny to me. <laughs> they don't exist, you silly, you silly radio boy. What an ass. You silly local car salesman. They and don't if, exist. You, if you understood humor, that's what is funny, where yes. you invented well, a puddle of a puddle AIDS. Of AIDS. Yes. You puddle dope. Of, puddle of AIDS does exist if a, uh, you know, a gay couple's baby falls out a window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, see, now I just yeah, got to yeah, put them both together like that, yeah, baby yeah, falling in puddles of AIDS. Well, I love the way now that. it's too far. I love the way puddles of AIDS is is, is so is immediately associated. With every, everybody thing. knew Jim Norton. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I know. Yeah. My line, you're associated. Puddle of AIDS. He doesn't Jim like Norton. me. And the problem is, not only do I not like him, but I don't respect him in in a comedic sense at all. No, of course not. I, I, that the worst is I don't respect him comedically. Yeah. Uh, you know, a puddle of AIDS is a non-existent thing. Yes. Silly boy. Yeah. Silly radio boy who. You're taking the, the like the the darkest. Worst, most sort of vilified disease of the, uh, our time, yes. and making a puddle of it. Yes. <laughs> there's nothing funnier than that in the world. Someone to in slip the world, in it. like yes. to not only say like there's a puddle of age, put a rope around but it. I hope you have a wacky, a wacky slip <laughs> yes. of the foot and, and fall in it. Yeah, and go. Oh my God, it, I'm in a puddle of age. <laughs> yes, it's a banana peel. And wipe deal. it out of your right. eyes like a like a Three Stooges <laughs> sort of person. <laughs> yeah, but you know what though? It's almost like if you want. This is why I don't put content restrictions because the Three Stooges, who are some of the funniest. Things Things ever when you break it down i mean yeah. it's not funny to cave somebody's head in with a brick no. or to jab somebody no. is it funny to blind somebody with your fingers no. See, that's what happens <laughs> that's what, i'm just explaining to the to, the to the to fat local pig in cleveland yeah that when you break down humor like that right that's what happens nothing right. is technically that funny when you break it down no, like that not. that's why you're not a funny guy because you don't understand that all right with that we got one more clip here it's really not the end of the world. But man. when I asked him about it, his claim was, I would expect other people to make fun of it. Yeah. Yeah, if it was my kid, it wouldn't be funny. Well, guess what? That's not my kid, and I don't think it's funny, because I have a heart. Oh, and maybe there's just some God. things you don't do for a laugh, dude. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just go, you know what? Which is everything in his book. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that's really important here, though, I wish you had this clip, but I don't I don't know where the hell it is. But he he says in one of, the, one of these... Uh, one of the segments because he went on for two hours. This went on for two hours that he only talked about how angry this made him to the point that he's actually talking about firing the people around him because they're not agreeing. But he says oh at one God. point he goes, "Don't get me wrong. The thing he did on the air was funny. The thing when he the way he used the reference here, I laughed at that. He says that twice. He says yeah. it's the part he says on his HBO special. This dude does a whole bit about Eric Clapton, and I've seen it, and that's what I was offended by. He made it up. I've never no." Talked the one time in my life I've mentioned Eric Clapton with my face and mouth ever was on his show. <laughs> so he made up that I do a bit about he it. Lied. Like, That's what's offensive. And he says it like three times. He keeps back and he goes, "No, no, no. This way. here was funny." Yeah, because he laughed. But yes. but yeah, because he laughed. But in the bit he does on his special, and somebody needs to dig it up because I'm not sure which special. That's he keeps saying that. Find it on his special. It doesn't exist. And then later he says. I think he makes I think he makes jokes about having sex with his kids too, and I don't find that funny either. Which I don't. No, he just made up bits. Well, that's, that's what you do. Funny though, if you have a radio show, <laughs> that's what yeah, you that do. would be. Just, that was like, hey, you just yeah. make up stuff, and so, it's fine. Yeah. Not, you can't be proven wrong. Can we sum this up too? I'm not yeah. to finish it, but just to no. sum up where we are right now. He has a fake radio voice. Yes. He has a fake name, 
and he has fake indignation. He fake laughs yes. at your joke, and then he he fake uh uh, uh fake spits that you never did. Yeah. So he makes spits. By the end of the, he's the, the a fake. Everything about by the this end of his fraudulent. show, he said, "I hope Louis's uh, baby falls out of a window." He says it seriously oh, wow. with, no, with no joke. Oh, yes, there you go. That's nice. That he hopes. Yeah, well, good. One of those type of people. I love those types yeah. of people that will yeah. say the worst, most horrible things right. as they've just spent a bunch of time trying to say how horrible right. something you which, said. Was. Which I, you know, I Correct. don't, I don't, I'm sure I should be offended, but I don't think God will throw my baby out a window <laughs> no. at the yeah, behest no. of Maxwell. <laughs> Some Maxwell. Yeah. Some hack in Cleveland yeah. doing yeah. radio. He is a hack. Let's, uh, let's finish this clip. Some things you don't do for a laugh, dude. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just go, you know what? I have ethics and morals, and I'm not going to do that. Because <laughs> that ain't cool. Because two parents had to deal with their kids splattered all over the street. No. Well, it doesn't matter whose kid. It actually that's fell funny. onto a part of a roof. That's what I would do. Not to mention a building guy with a mop. I mean, Maybe he believes in it. Well, I hope one of his kids falls out of a window and dies. Not so funny, then, is it? What? No, no it no wasn't art. because you seriously like meant it. And you have no exactly. comic. There was, was no delivery. comic. There was no comedic angle to what you no. just said, you jackass. No. And just so we, uh, I, I went right back to the first clip because mm -hmm. now that's angry Maxwell. But when he had the chance to really right. go at it with you, right. you got this. It's kind or of or else, yeah. or else, or else you would close the door, get privacy, and meanwhile they go jump out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Right? Oh, <laughs> now see that right there. That's what I'm saying. Now see. Stands where he thinks that. I think that's a terrible joke. Yeah, it really? happened forever today. Ago, I don't care. I really don't care. You know what I mean? God gave that guy one really good talent. He can play the guitar. He wrote a great song about it. Made a million dollars. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about any of it. He's laughing, giggling, and, and he makes a joke part, about it. Right, and yeah. participating. You're a phony man. And actually, I made you a. Stink. I'm making a joke about being a dad using the stakes of a famously dead baby right, to, right. to uh, explain it. He's actually making fun of the dead baby by saying he made a million dollars. Yeah, <laughs> a million dollars. We have. I, I'll say this, man. Good for Stansbury. You know what? For at least going to bat. I respected him because for the whole hour and a half, he doesn't stop. He Good. says he refuses to let Maxwell well, have all has, the ground. Maybe he has a real chance in radio. Though. I think if they got rid of Maxwell, which they should, and gave that guy the show, they'd have something going on. It would be all right. He's in a position where but he this can't guy, go crazy. And, and here's the thing. When I when I go on radio all over the country and guys are like, hey, so uh, what do you think about uh, Britney Spears? I'm like, I don't I don't have anything about that. Yeah. Like, oh, well, all right. We're out, out of time. Those guys. <laughs> those guys Guys, I'm fine with because they're that. Yeah. But this guy is a phony, disgusting coward. He's yes. just a. He, I mean, I've never. That, there's nothing that grosses me out more than taking part in a joke, mm -hmm. cheering it on, and then when the person's gone, claiming to be better than that joke right. that you laughed at, and then and also isolating the thing in the joke and and just he says it over and over again. And what a sanctimonious, like, yes. like he's going to get the Nobel Prize for pointing out that it's a shame that a baby fell out of a window once. And you have no morals or scruples or whatever no, the hell he said because, because you're in the radio business. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You've sat there and taken it. And right now we're on in Cleveland. So here's the number if you want to call his show. Oh, that's uh, nice, Jimmy. 1-800-348-1007. It's 1-800-348. 3481007. Now, if you're hearing this anywhere else in the country, we're on in delay in afternoons in Cleveland. So if you're in Cleveland, we're on now. If you're anywhere else in the country, uh, we're not on until 3 to 7 in Cleveland no, time. No, we're, uh, we're live right now in Cleveland. Good afternoon, Cleveland. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm saying we're on delay by two minutes. <laughs> no, right now we're live. Yeah, this but, is afternoon. Oh, yeah. hold on. Good and punt. <laughs> you know, it's just not funny. And punt. Not funny. 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 <laughs> good for Stansberry. Stansberry yeah. pro good for you, man. You know what? Good for you. At least you knew that it was a funny joke, and you're working with a, a sanctimonious yeah. fat man. There's nothing worse. You know what happens later? Also, they mentioned that when his boss came in the studio in a break uh. and said... Uh, and said, you got, you're being kind of a wimp about this. Like, what's your problem? Like, nice. the boss took weird. Wow. The company guy no, took, why? took he, the side that. Because he said, sees, because the boss sees the ratings. The, bo like, the boss uh, said, you and Anthony are, are kicking exactly. your ass. It is the wife. So he says on the air that the boss said, you're worrying me a little because you're coming across like a wuss. You're Good. coming across like a guy it's who the can't wife, take dude. a joke. You're right. It's yeah. the wife. He knew he had to go wife. home. He knew he had to go home. 
Oh, yeah, Jimmy said it. Yeah. He, he knew he had to go home and face his wife, and it would have been this big thing yeah. like, how could you let him sit? Look into our baby's eyes. No, and he told me Look. that he had trouble with his wife, ta him talking about her on the air and stuff. Look, I, I say oh. horrible things about my kids yeah. and my wife, and I go home and I take it like a man. But you know right. what, though? You're <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, all right, we take a break. But yeah, we really have to take a break, but uh, very interesting stuff, uh, Louis C.K. Louis, you're promoting what? What are you promoting? I'm going to be in Cleveland on uh, February right. 15th. Yeah. The night before for the 14th, I'm in Buffalo at the whatever arts center. Say hi to Buffalo. We're on the edge yes. right now, man. And then I'm uh, and then I'm uh, I'm at Wilkes Bar uh, in Pennsylvania uh, on March 7th. All right. Can I plug my Cleveland? Kenny, what am I in Cleveland? Real quick. Right in front of you. Don't scream at me and humiliate me. Just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of you. I don't know where that is. By the way, the number people are asking for, 1-800-348-1007 for the Maxwell Show. I'm doing two shows, Friday, February 29th at the House of Blues. Oh, wow. I know, they're both sold out. Uh, so I wanted to invite Stansbury to one of those shows. Not, honest to God, not in some conference. I don't think he'll come. Not to be confrontational, none of that stuff, but you are welcome to come to the show. I hope he comes to my show, too. I really did. Listening to that, all the clips on that, uh, the, I was really impressed. I really by respect you. the guy for that. Yeah. And it's, I'm not, this is not a sarcastic invitation, yeah. even though I know you won't accept it. I'm just letting you know that to well, Stansbury, this is a real invitation. Yeah, basically, Maxwell's holding you back. It's very obvious well, to all of us. We're here. all in Cleveland. We're not February. scared. We're not scared of this dumb radio show. Mm -hmm. We're we're kind of looking no. out for your future. Well, you're, obviously, a his guy, boss. I, I think that's where it's headed. His boss wants. We'll, we'll get rid of Maxwell mm -hmm. and give this other guy the job, and it'll actually be a decent show. <laughs> all right, very good. It'll be we're like your Maxwell. sister show in oh, Buffalo. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're Cleveland. Where are yeah. we? We're all in Cleveland. <laughs> well, you idiot. You know you. Okay. <laughs> you little idiot. cities don't matter. You're an idiot. <laughs> you all live in places that don't matter to exactly. me. You get lake snow, die. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird, though, that we're all in Cleveland in February. Really? That's right. We yeah, are. Sure, sure is. is. Bob Kelly, where are you going to be in Cleveland? <laughs> we're going to be back in just a minute. It's Opie and Anthony. Got to go right to the phones on the Opie and Anthony show. We got Tom in uh, Franklin Square. We got a report from the front lines. Uh, Tom, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, hey, it's hey. Jimmy. Hey, hey buddy. Going? What's up, man? I uh, know. We I just pulled about the uh, what is it, the edge that Max was for. I really don't even know. <laughs> to be completely, <laughs> okay, well, and we know our competition, but for Cleveland, we don't know because we we don't really look at it as. Competition. I'm sorry hmm. to the Maxwell show. Yeah, whatever. All right. Uh, the screener is answering the phone, and he goes, "Listen, I'm tired of you douchebags calling me. He's not into the afternoon." Oh, he's, the screener. <laughs> yeah, his show's at 3 p.m. Yeah, the screener. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, guys. I give the number out. Let me say, if you live in Cleveland and you're hearing this, call 1-800-348-1007. Anywhere else in the country. He's on 3 to 7 Cleveland time. Yeah, but that shouldn't stop anyone. Call now. Okay, call you now. just make their... Freaking it's day miserable irritated there. somebody. Yeah, we're all about <laughs> yeah. irritating somebody. We don't care who. Just uh, you've right. got a chance to irritate somebody. Call one eight hundred three. If you'd like to be part of the, seven. If you'd like to be part of the group called you douchebags. Yeah. By the fellow. <laughs> and let's see if they go with it today. But of course they won't because uh, they don't mm. got it in them. No. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. All right, real fast, Ryan in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Ryan. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. I wanted to say that uh, Maxwell is in fact wrong. Because as South Park told us, AIDS is funny. Yeah, freaking yes. South Park has fun with the AIDS thing. Yeah, is he is he criticizing? Uh, what was his family? You That's have family AIDS. Guy. Family you guy. have AIDS. Or uh, any any of the other shows? Yeah, mm. just, you know, no, just no. Fat man. All right, he Holy proved our point. We got Bob Kelly in the studio, and uh, <laughs> what's this dumb thing in front of you, Bob? Is that yours, Bob? <laughs> what is it, a colostomy bag? No, that was a great one, Jimmy. Nice. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, that was good. Oh, that was awesome. oh. What's this big dumb thing in front of you, Bob? Yeah. Good. Um, I didn't mean that, Bob. It's Bob. actually, uh, it's right here. You've, it's a, it's so you can have a woman with like a small titties can put this on with and a small with a small titties, titties you eighty year old uh, Negro. Well, shit, no. A small titty. <laughs> a small titty. A woman who has a small titty. A, 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 a woman who has uh, breast cancer and has mm -hmm. one small tit. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh -huh. can, you can put this on and, it, and pump How it up. You get this? Now that's not it was, funny. It breast not cancer. Funny. Not funny. Not, not funny. funny. not funny. Not funny. Not funny. You know, I gotta say something. I got morals. About. I got ethics. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> I sell alcohol on my show, and a lot of people drunk drive and kill children. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking fat cunts. You witless fat cunt. <laughs> witless. He dies in a bus a bus shooting. <laughs>
<laughs> I hope he's on a bus. A and bus a, shooting. A fucking disgruntled person gets on and thinks he's Donald Pleasance and shoots him. <laughs> okay, Escape from I New York. There's a helicopter hovering when it happens. <laughs> yeah, we uh <laughs> and people just see the glass kind you of you can't really put blow limit out of red <laughs> mist. <laughs> you can't put limits on you can't put limits on comedy, especially when you do a radio show. There's no. stuff there's stuff that we joke about and I, it affects me like personally, but whatever. I mean What makes me sick but though and it's so nice to say that you shouldn't laugh at something that no. might have been uh, horrifying to me. It's narcissistic to go yes. like to 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 spend your whole life not like not really caring if somebody makes fun of children or something yeah. and then you have one and then go hold on a second. Now I can't do this now anymore. I have <laughs> right. a fucking kids. bag of salt water that you should care about. It's like Louis refreshing. A bag it's of like salt. People, have, the baby people have kids and and turn into these fucking assholes. No, it's you didn't have kids before, so why why weren't you outraged then? Cuz it did yeah. Affect your stupid yeah. shit life that nobody cares about. Right. Yeah. Now, now you have a little faggot that you're raising. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, that, by the way, isn't fucking special. No, well, that's it's not. the thing though about comedy is that most people think like you. I hate this little hunk of shit. Yeah. What a pain in the ass. No, and also when and, you're in the audience, you have somebody who died of cancer in your life. Right. Fine. And then I make a cancer joke. Somebody else does, and you go, oh, "I wish I hadn't heard that." And yeah. I understand that. Right. But all the other people in the room, every other uh -huh. joke was about something that bummed yes. somebody out. Yeah. The whole point of comedy is saying something that was not really polite to say. That's the entire point. And you'll of it. laugh if it didn't affect you personally. Fine. And I that's ninety nine percent of the people. But that one no. person he's gonna laugh at the other shit. If I'm watching a movie or a TV show and they put a child in jeopardy, I, mm. I change the channel. I can't watch it. Really? Yeah, I can't I can't personally love that shit. And I but I, I totally recognize that that's just my problem right. because I immediately go to thinking about my kid being missing or something. Is that true? And I, I thought that was only take, in the movies. I can't take watching that. Watching I can't. Even, I can't even watch Terms of Endearment when they're at the. And he's like, I'll put oh. my candy car, candy bar back. I get. I, I'm like, I gotta shut it off. You're, you're just get, a crybaby when I it just, comes to that. I just, Why? Yeah. Fucking hilarious uh, movie. <laughs> Going backwards, uh, Spike writes, uh, "Get Steve some honey. <laughs> Steve honey. needs honey, honey, <clears throat> more honey." You know, I was supposed to go back on that show after that whole thing happened. Really? Yeah. Mm, good luck to you. Oh, he made fun of you, right? Well, he I went on and he got mad at me for making fun of uh, Clapton's Eric Clapton's kid. kid falling out of a window. Yeah, right. And uh, like that's he went funny. on for, a day, for <laughs> literally two days. He went on about how it was rude that I said it. But anyway, he because I, I was playing Vegas, uh, I was playing Cleveland soon after that, and so his producer said he was gonna because he he said that I did the bit in my act, which I don't. Right. He he just lied and said that I do it in a special. We found he does lie a lot. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, his producer, who actually berated him during his show and said, you know, you're sounding like a wimp right now, and <laughs> he he his producer called and said that I could come back. He was going to apologize to me on the air because he told Maxwell, you're dead oh. wrong. He doesn't do it. And mm. so they set up that I was going to come on. He was going to apologize and say, my bad. This was my mistake. But then you guys, <laughs> oh, when you guys sent in the okay. carpet bombing, well, then they wouldn't. I was sitting waiting for my phone. I was supposedly I was waiting them oh, to go on, great. and they never called. And instead, not gonna apologize. Yeah, and then instead he went on, and apparently he'd gotten so many calls, he was so mad again. It's like okay, I apparently I didn't. He doesn't do the bit in his act. But guess what? It's, it's still wrong what he said, and he's got it. Oh, Ned, Ned Benny. Uh, Matt Benny. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the picture of him online. That they, that they, because he is on a camera. Oh, this is great. The fans just video, like screen cap. They screen capped a three, uh, sequential pictures of him picking his nose. of him picking his nose and then shoving it in his idiot. mouth. <laughs> it's just, what? It's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a How minute. fantastic is that? I'm hungry. You think that you could oh. pick your nose on the radio and be safe? I yeah. I didn't know boogers were that fattening either. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of that pepper. <laughs> What's he got? Sugar snot? <laughs> <laughs> boogers with cheese. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, man. but the thing was that he. He said that the thing I said on the air was okay originally, but it was the bit I did in my act that doesn't exist that was offensive. Right. And then he went back and started playing the bit I did on his show, and he cut right before he laughs, because he laughed at it. Oh, he did? So he kept playing it, and, and you hear like, 
Like you just hear the beginning <laughs> yeah, of his laugh. Well, anyway, I'm not so. laughing. Well, we could uh, now that you're talking about, it, we could show the phone in this that is Maxwell. This is exactly what uh, Louis C.K. is talking about. It's kind or of else, or, yeah. or else, or else you you would close the door, get privacy, and meanwhile they go jump out the window like Eric Clapton's stupid baby. Or <laughs> oh, now see that right there. That, that is Maxwell laughing yeah. his ass off. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Now, see, Stansberry thinks that. I think that's a terrible joke. Yeah, it really? happened forever and a day ago. Man. I don't care. I really don't terrible care. Terrible joke, but he's laughing. God gave that guy one really good talent. He can play the guitar. He wrote a great song about it. Made him I don't care. And then he makes a joke about it. I don't care about yeah. any of it. <laughs> I don't care about any of it. And you're right. He does make his own joke. He makes his own joke, which is actually, I'm actually talking about... That if you're, if you, as a father, if you don't watch your kids, they'll fall out of a window like Eric Clapton's baby. I call the baby stupid. Uh, <laughs> well, by the way, the kid like was four. Genius? I used to think that that kid was like a baby who crawled out the window. Right. Four years old. Should like know it. Four year old yeah. kid walked out of a window. Yeah. yeah he wasn't a upright. Stupid douche. Absolutely. Age of consent. Is that, did I get dumped? And here's, yeah. no, that's fine. And oh, here's, God. here's the phone in there. So now you're off the phone. And then, you yeah. know, he was laughing along, made his really own Really nice to me for another 10 minutes after the joke. Right. He was super nice to me. This is the phoniness. He had a nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, now his voice changed. Uh, now he's yeah. got to be like, you know. Well, yeah, he's he's got to be cool shock shock. Yeah. Now. He's got to placate uh, yeah. the, uh, you know, the soccer moms yep. in the Midwest. Yeah, of course. Those other yeah, nice little save there at the end. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I gotta tell you, man. Still, though, at the end of the day, making fun of Eric Clapton's kid falling to his death is not. But he laughed at that. <laughs> no, I gotta tell you, though. I gotta tell you, not him, because I'm intimidated by everybody. But I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you because I pay you. At the end of the day, after mulling it over, I changed my mind. Yeah. Offensive. <laughs> First, it was funny, but then I did a picture of uh, babies. Blast. Day, making fun of Eric Clapton's kid falling to his death is not funny. Just right. Like Phony voice inflection. I agree. Yeah. I mean, come on, Stansbury. At least give me that. Uh, that's not funny. Kids falling out of open windows and 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 splattering on the ground is like. I think he splattered. Yeah. When well, you, listen, listen when to you give Stansbury all that detail, it, it Stansbury says something funny right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I just want to say, when you give all that detail, yeah, of course it's, it makes yeah. it go from splattering. a joke. Splattering. Yeah, when the EMT yeah. show up and yeah. have to scrape a kid yeah. off the. Uh, okay. When he gets killed like Gage <laughs> in Pet Cemetery. Uh, <laughs> little stupid Gage yeah. running out into the street. Yeah. Little baby on the ground is like. Well, I mean, he didn't paint that whole picture for you. <laughs> <laughs> See, this guy's funny. Uh -huh. Stansberry's not funny. Stansberry's funny. He's like, well, you're yeah, the one. You're the one who brought up the ugly details. <laughs> yeah, hey, he right. understands the difference between a joke and, yes. and ugly details. Quite, right. Yes. Well, the point. Let me explain humor to to because I know he's listening to this. Of course, no he way is. he is. And I would. Of he is. I Google myself with my you know hand on myself all the time, so <laughs> I know he does. Because I'm a better person than he is, so there's no way he doesn't at least do the bad things that I do. Let me explain humor to you. You use you use extremes to to, to draw up pictures. Yeah, you, yeah, hyperbole. I'm I'm talking about how awful it would be if you're as a father trying to have a private poop. And your kid is doing God knows what. And let's take the worst possible example: right. an unsupervised kid, a famously dead yes. unsupervised child and let's call him stupid because it's comedy after all <laughs> right. that's the idea there but i didn't go like hey everybody eric clapton's baby splattered on the sidewalk isn't that funny how funny is that yeah which it is <laughs> but that doesn't happen to be the joke i was making but there is a difference he didn't yeah. paint that whole picture for you well, I mean, but i mean that's what happened he fell out of a skyscraper right in new york city right yeah he walked skyscraper skyscraper skyscrapers skyscrapers in the future we will have skyscrapers well, it's Dirigibles will dock at the roof. <laughs> what a tool to skyscrapers. Hey, they try to get, is it? Hey, they try to get that done with the Empire State Building. Yeah, they certainly did. They, yeah, wanted them, them, they wanted them to dock. They tried yeah. once. Right. It's failed miserably. Yeah. Anchor them at the top of the Empire State Building mm -hmm. and let them hang Who's out Who's stepping there? out on that one? Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, watch your step as you step down and <laughs> plummet to your death. Like mooring a boat, you have to jump on the ledge of the Empire <laughs> yeah. State Building and tie it down. Bunch of dummies. <laughs> our it's the future. Were, our ancestors were stupid. Go to the airport, <laughs> thank you. Didn't he fall he out, out of a plane like D.B. Cooper? Not funny. <laughs> Not funny. Well, I mean, he didn't paint that whole picture for you. Well, I mean, but, I mean, that's what happened. He fell out of a skyscraper, right, in New York City, right? Yeah, yeah, he walked out of the window. Yeah, he was dusting in the attic of the Chrysler building. <laughs>
<laughs> he leaned on a storm window. He leaned against a storm window in the Chrysler building. You dink. He's, he's an iron worker. He was throwing hot rivets to another guy. <laughs> he was smoking out the window of Tower One of the World Trade Center. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Hey, what the heck? Skyscrapers. Someday. A little baby walking in his pajamas with feet along a steel beam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a lunch pail and a hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's funny. Like some dumb old cartoon where the baby's just uh, yeah. crawling along. You just hear bam, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Magoo, baby. Oh, hey, wait, well, I guess just go around. <laughs> we can't get enough of this Maxwell guy. Hey, let's play pacifier. <laughs> we can't get enough of this guy. It's just too much fun. Oh, oh no, baby no. Clapton, you've done it again. Yeah. <laughs> baby Clapton. Yeah. <laughs> He's the laughing stock of Cleveland Radio and the Pastor Dad Vinny are just. Benjamin Just Clinton. running his life at this point. Oh, really? Baby, clapped in your... <laughs> <laughs> Slide whistle's always funny. But then a girder catches him right before he hits the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he still that. splatters and dies. <laughs> 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 Now they just have to lower the girder with a mess yep. on it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I did, the, I did the show in Cleveland, by the way, and it was completely packed and sold out. I mean, he helped me. He sold at of least course. 400 of my tickets. Yeah, half the and, crowd was moms and their kids. A little yeah, bit. exactly. <laughs> and uh, but uh, when I came back out for an encore, and I said, uh, "Hey, how about I just said Eric Clapton's baby," and the place went nuts. Yeah, and they just went well. That means crazy. He, he didn't help you. That means uh, right. We helped you. No, you're dummy. exactly right. <laughs> what is exactly wrong right? with you? Nick you got you got all those fans <laughs> right. there because the Opie and Anthony show. Of course, Especially that's why. If you make the Eric Clapton no, I know, joke, but they were cheering. energized. That means their own A fans, not Maxwell fans. I know they were energized. Help us out by, here, by, of they were they energized are. by hatred of him. That I don't is. mean that he got promoted my show. United okay. in I hatred. I mean that he created a situation yes. where. Because this uh, lying ass will now take that audio and make something. No, you're He's right. the laughing stock of of Cleveland, obviously, but yeah. now the now the country. And he's trying. Wonderful. He's trying the angle of well, if you want to play us nationally, we could use the publicity. You stink. I'll yeah, you're play, horrible. You're a, not a funny no, guy. No, it's the opposite oh, I don't of promotion. Know. I, think yeah. I think he's kind of fun. <laughs> Got some comedy <laughs> chops. <laughs> if he was any good, we wouldn't play him. We don't want to expose good people to the country. Oh, yeah, we're not dumb. Jesus, what do you want to no. do? You think we're, here, look at this. This guy's much better uh, employee than I am. Check him out, boss. Speaking <laughs> of, don't do that. Speaking of not funny, we should get their opinion on the whole mastic thing. Not funny. We had another DJ that had to apologize at a press conference.